all started back in 1957 when visionary inventor Harold von Braunhardt spotted some cute little creatures swimming around in a pet shop. Sadly, they were being sold as fish food. But Harold became fascinated with them. These were brine shrimp, Artemia salina. He was more fascinated when he learned that they could enter a state of cryptobiosis, the state of suspended animation. This means when they all die and their salt water evaporates, these small, hardy shrimps enter a protective cyst-like casing. When the water is reintroduced, they come back to life. Von Braunhardt, together with a marine biologist expert, Anthony Di Agostino, managed to formulate a mix of nutrients to allow these creatures to come to life in normal tap water. Von Braunhardt thought, if you could take a package of powder and put it in water and see it come to life, nothing could be more remarkable than that. The legend that is sea monkeys was born. Although we see the success of these pets in many stores today, the journey to achieve this was not an easy or quick one. Harold wanted them to be large enough and live long enough to be interesting pets. Initial yields produced small creatures that only lived for a few months. So we're going to give them a, I think it's a three day feed and I'm going to do the sea monkeys first using the sea monkeys spoon. And then I'm going to do the Aqua Dragon's second using the using the Aqua Dragon spoon. We get a level spoon. Like so and we'll just see how they grow and transform over the next few days. After years of work by marine expert D. Agostino, he mastered crossbreeding with healthier and bigger specimens to produce their own hybrid, the Artemia Nios, named after the Long Island Laboratory New York Ocean Society NYOS. These larger, now tougher hybrids actually do not exist in nature at all. Initially with little interest sales were poor, but Harold had a plan, a very good one to reach out and capture the imagination of his target audience. He bought advertising space in comic books, loads of them. He bought 3.2 million ads per year in every kind of comic book. This method got his message directly to the children without any parent authority. Under the radar, he was sparking exciting dreams of cute little pet monkey people swimming around in a jam jar of water. Unfortunately, they did not look like the incredible little humanoids that were seen in the adverts. Harold had hired an exceptional comic book artist, Joe Orlando, to come up with the cartoon representation of the creatures. Orlando was good. He later went on to be vice president of DC Comics and Mad magazine. These brine shrimp are still quite amazing all the same. They are born with one eye initially and then grow two more when they mature. They actually do breathe through their feet also they are attracted to light. If you shine a torch near them, after they have been in darkness, they will zoom around and perform a nice display of aerobatics. The males have whiskers under their chins, and they can sometimes be seen fighting other males by locking their horns with other males. But if you see a male linked up with a female, you are witnessing sea monkeys having a very private few days that will produce a small pregnant pouch and more will be born. Sea monkeys have even been into space. On October the 29th, 1998, the Space Shuttle Discovery with astronaut John Glenn, who was at the time 77, participating in a study on the effects of space on the elderly, he took 400 million sea monkey eggs. The eggs spent nine days in space and, when they were hatched eight weeks later, the creatures showed no ill effects from their journey. I think it's a fitting tribute that these amazing pets have actually been into space. They've travelled further than many people on Earth could dream to travel.